dropping All in my phone, I got options And I don't wanna tell you to drop it But I don't wanna play your fan, yeah, yeah Something that makes me look at you too often oh, Baby, you can give us something Baby, I can run all the time Good morning, guys Welcome back to another vlog How are you guys doing today? How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? The sun is sunning today. Period. The sun is going crazy. Going stupid. My skin has been doing a lot better since I talked to you guys. It's still very... It, I mean, the dark marks still remain. Unfortunately, that's just going to take time. And my friend had recommended um, a product to me that I had totally forgotten about until I watched her video and seen her using it. And I was like, oh my god, I need to go get that. I think it's by Course RX. Core XRX. I forgot. I don't know. But it's at Ulta. So I'm going to go pick it up and see if that will help with the dark spots. But if not, it's fine. Time. With time, it will go away. I also realized that, like, my skin actually thrives. Hopefully, I can hear me with the laundry in the back. But my skin thrives off of, like, if I don't do anything to my skin, that's when it does the best. So I literally took all extra things out of my routine. And now I only wash my face. And I do the same thing twice a day, in the morning and the night. So I wash my face. I use a vitamin C serum, like my, you know, my go-to, my OG that I swore, I swear by. <laughs> That's been helping in obviously moisturizer and sunscreen. Sunscreen, because I've been slacking on the sunscreen for sure. What I was doing was skipping sunscreen because my thought process was, oh, I'm not leaving the house. I'm not leaving the house, so I don't need it. You need it. This, you can see the sun. The sun can see me. I can see the sun. So, yeah, I went back on a very rigid routine with that. Very simple, very straight to the point, and definitely sunscreen. And I think it's been helping. I haven't seen any new, there hasn't been any new pimples yet since I um, operated on these. Yeah, it was very, um, there, was a, there was a lot of gunk in this one. This one, um, not so much, but there was like a lot of gunk. There was also some blood because I think my skin was trying to like get rid of it or like my body was like obviously working to get rid of it. Um, but yeah, after I did that, like there's no more bump. <laughs> I was tired of it. Like it had been like two weeks of being bumpy face. And I was like, girl, we gonna get this out myself. I will say the star face patches we're working like I could see the pimple surfacing and that's why like I got the courage to like bust it myself that's the update on my skin um the update on my hair <laughs> I feel like I just look like a child like she really even the way she did it did I show you guys what it was supposed to look like let me show you guys what it's supposed to look like actually I'll just put in the screen what it's supposed to look like but first of all the ponytail looks so stupid like when it's down I think that's what kills the vibe is the ponytail like, it just looks so childish. What is this? What is this? What is this? If the ponytail was like a little bit more full and like longer, I feel like um, it would have been fine. So I decided to put it up like this and I, I've been able to manage with it up like this because I was very close to taking it out. But you know, we're being smart with money nowadays. We're being extra smart with money because money does not go on trees and we just have to live with our decisions, okay? Because this costs money. So it's going to be in for at least two weeks. And then I'm going to do it myself because that was what I was going to do initially. Anyways, I was going to braid my own hair and do like um, large knotless braids on myself. But then I was like, mm, let me just go try a new style. Let me just try a new style. And mind you, I sent her that picture. I sent her that exact picture. She said, "Send me a picture of what you want. What you want it to look like." And I sent it to her, and she did this. But whatever, it's okay. It's cool. Like I need to stop complaining for real. I'm sure. I sh I'm sure. I'm sure it's fine. Like it's it's gonna be fine. Like it's not the end of the world. Anyways, I'm just gonna do some work because I took Friday off. First of all, I need to use my hours before the end of the year because it's going to go kaboop. They only like let you take 40 hours over and I have more than 40 hours. Well, I'm going to have more than 40 hours by the end of the year anyways. I took a trip to Ghana last year and um, I've been paying that back 
all year and now like my hours are starting to stack, stack up so I'm like I'm done paying for that trip now <laughs> I'm starting to stack up my hours now and um, it's starting it's looking like it's gonna go over 40 um, I would like to take 40 over to next year because I want to go on a trip I'm gonna go on a trip to next year and I would love to take like two weeks for that um, but yeah so I took the day off on Friday um, and I need to catch up on what emails I missed last week and I'm gonna talk to you guys in a little bit. Afternoon, it's the next day. Do y'all see how laggy this is? This is one of the issues with the Sony camera. Actually, let me fix that. Now it's better, see? <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to go get Starbucks. I know, crazy. I'm about to go get Starbucks. Let me get the key. And guess what? The trial's about to be over. They're about to go deliberate right now. That's what y'all hear. The judge reading the instructions to them. Let us all pray and hope that they get come back with um, a guilty for the hospital because that is necessary for us future mothers. It is necessary that they come back with a guilty. Okay, so we don't have to worry about stuff like that. But yeah, let me go get some Starbucks. I should not finish. I'm gonna go get some Starbucks because I haven't had Starbucks in a long, long, long time. No, I'm just lying. I'm totally lying to you guys. I actually had Starbucks yesterday, but I'm going to stop after today. I'm doing twice a month. I'm getting Starbucks twice a month, and I've been craving their caramel ribbon crunch, which is like so unhealthy, but I've been craving it, so I got it yesterday, I'm gonna get it today, and yeah, that's just that, that's just what's gonna have to be. By the time you guys are watching this, this trial will be like completely over and done with. And you guys should know what the verdict was. Let me get some water. Some water. I'm gonna leave this on while I go. It's for Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. We're gonna leave that on so that when I come back, it will be. Oh, I need a wallet. <laughs> Y'all be doing that ever since like um, Apple Pay became a thing. Like I be forget, I be leaving my wallet at home. I be leaving everything at home. Okay, now I have to turn the light down because it's too bright. And then I gotta adjust. Okay. Wow, I'm like totally showing you guys. Anyways, you know what I think has been like helping my skin in the short two weeks that I've been complaining about it? Sunscreen. Sunscreen is such an essential part of your routine that I was neglecting because I was always like, oh, I don't go outside. Oh, I'm not going outside anyways. I think I was saying this in the previous clip or yesterday. I think I was saying this yesterday. But yeah, that was like the worst thing I ever did was neglect sunscreen because that's why my skin was going crazy going stupid and also my glasses i think my glasses are too big for my face i think my glasses are too big for my face so like it sits on my cheeks that's why i'm seeing a lot of problems right in that area so i just go get lasik or small glasses because i don't necessarily want to wear contacts all the time but I'm having to. This car is lit. Like, it got all the space on the dashboard. Let me turn the music down because we don't want no problems. Let's go. What was I going to talk to you guys about? I have something to talk to you guys about. Doing okay. Maybe not. Maybe we will wait. Hold on. Let me get to Starbucks and then we'll talk. Let me get y'all back active. There we go. Okay, I'm back. So I got a holiday drink and I actually should not have because I want to make another video trying the holiday um, drive through items but like I really cannot help myself. <laughs> so I got a holiday drink but I won't try everything on the menu. I'll just you know try one or two things so that I have something to try for the video. <laughs> so I was watching this podcast today. See this is why I need to start a podcast because I be wanting to just like go off on a rant. Anyways, like I was saying, I was watching a podcast, and basically, in the podcast, it was actually um, Queen Nigel. 
If y'all know her, she blew up off of YouTube and like because her ex did her, her fucked her over. So you'll always come back to your roots. Remember that always. Okay, so I'm back home and I'm back. <laughs> I'm gonna get sick of me and my packages. But let's unbox this real quick before I get to editing. Because I've actually decided that I'm gonna do, well, <laughs> I like. So I've been considering doing Vlogmas. Like, I've been thinking about it for the lesser half of this or the end towards coming towards the end of the month obviously as a newfound youtuber <laughs> i've obviously been thinking about things that i enjoy watching which i've always enjoyed vlogmas but i quickly came to the realization that i cannot do vlogmas i cannot because for one i personally I got a new tripod because I didn't bring mine with me for some reason. Like, I brought the big heavy-duty tripod, but I didn't bring, like, a phone tripod. So, I haven't had a phone tripod, and I haven't been able to film appropriately. That's why I guess I've seen less montages, and I also need it for short shorts because this brings me to what I was just talking about. I honestly think I have, like, some form of attention deficit. I know I got some because y'all should see the raw footage when i'm editing i'd be so oh i'd be so upset with myself i'm like girl why would you like it'd be if you ever feel like i'm confusing just imagine the raw footage this is so ginormous i did not want this big tripod all right well i'm gonna go rebuy it because i don't want this big ass tripod this big clunk tripod let me order another one before i forget so yeah i've been thinking about doing vlogmas because you know next month is december and that's what you do if you're a lifestyle content creator i decided that i'm actually not going to do it because i personally don't always want to vlog every day and vlogging is not easy so yeah i already know the whole posting every day one i don't always like to vlog every day there's some days that i'm just like i don't feel like vlogging today and i like the flexibility to do that with like weekly vlogs i like that i can be like i don't want to vlog today <laughs> i'm aware that it doesn't have to be vlogs every day but i feel like that that would be the easiest form to post every day it's definitely doable if i was to like dedicate my whole next month <laughs> my whole december to that like it's definitely doable but content like first of all remembering to film is like that in itself <sighs> such a headache having things to film like some days you just don't have anything to film like some days are just mundane boring like there's nothing to film some days which is why weekly vlogs work very well for me because what i'm not what i'm not gonna start doing is living for my vlogs like i'm not gonna do things just so i can vlog it in fact, I'm trying to do the opposite. I'm trying to not vlog the things I do more frequently. But anyways, remember to vlog. Having things to vlog, editing and posting. You would need. I would need to start prepping for Vlogmas like right now. <laughs> no cap. Like, what's today's date? Today is November. It's like the first week of November. In order for me to do Vlogmas, I feel like I would need to have at least a week of videos before that month. Like, I would have to be ahead a week to even be able to even have to even be able to like consider the idea of doing it i feel like it would require a lot a lot of prep and also if i'm like logically reasoning with myself and like as far as like analytics for your channel and like how beneficial it is really for your channel it's not really like beneficial not for the size that my channel is at right now i can totally understand like a bigger channel doing it and being like the impact of vlogmas not being so great on it because one thing about it it is never good for a channel to have a whole bunch of videos that don't get views. It's not good, especially not for a small channel. That's really gonna put a, it's really gonna put a roadblock in your way because the system, the system of YouTube is going to get triggered that nobody cares about your channel. 
and it's gonna stop promoting your channel. Whereas if a bigger channel does Vlogmas, um, they're also gonna have videos, like a lot of videos that don't get the highest views all the time. Like this is just based off like research I've done and like things I've heard other channels do. Cause like I said, I watch a lot of YouTube. Like in fact, I think I primarily watch YouTube over like anything else. <laughs> um, I get, I obtain a lot of information, but anyways, my logical conclusion is that um, larger channels can get away with doing vlogmas because they already have that loyal subscriber subscriber base like they already have very loyal subscribers that will watch a majority of the videos they post so even though every video is not gonna do like like the best video will do um it's still gonna have a substantial amount of people watching um but naturally not everyone can't watch videos like every day like even me, like, even the people that I really love watching their videos, sometimes I, like, don't. Sometimes I get bored. Sometimes I miss a video. Not Don't let me miss two videos. <laughs> don't let me miss two videos. Because then I'm just going to stop watching. Because I'm like, damn, that I got to go catch up. And then I have to watch this third video for today. And then come back and watch. It's like an overload of content <laughs> from one channel. Too much. Too much. And then being a small channel, expecting people to watch a video you post every day is just really asking for a lot. It's really like setting expectations above reasonable. The benefit of doing it every day though, however, this is why I need to start a podcast because I'd be having a lot to say. There are a lot of topics that I really want to deep dive into, but I just don't want to do it on a vlog. Like I want to do it on a podcast when people know like they're clicking on to hear me talk <laughs> for hours. <laughs> I really am like very into the back end logistics of like social media. So I'm gonna say social media because I primarily like focus on YouTube because that's what I do. But I feel like if I was to do TikTok, I would be successful. <laughs> Not to do my own horn or anything, but I feel like no matter what social media like I was to take on, I would be successful at it because I think the back end. I think about the back end. I don't just do things just to do it, just to do things. Like I really don't. My YouTube channel, I didn't just, I had a plan of action. <laughs> like everything I did to start my channel and as my channel is going right now, everything I do is well, is very much I think it out. And it's like things that make sense, but I feel like not everyone thinks about the things, like not everyone thinks the same way. Like you really have to have a social media content creator mindset to be successful with this or you're gonna be working like twice as hard to get the same results but let me not boost my let me not boost my head too much another thing is that i really enjoy like the editing aspect of it like i will edit every video i was okay so i um i posted my summer hygiene video right and i put so much work into that editing oh my god for that six minute video like that editing took me like three days mm, that's a stretch I would say like eight hours. It took me eight hours to edit those six minutes. I think it even took me more than eight hours for real. That's a lot of time. And I posted it and I, I remember sitting there thinking, oh my God, I done put all this effort into editing this video and it's not even getting the views as the original one, my first ever hygiene video that I posted. But I realized that every time I go to edit a video, I don't really think about like, oh, what views is gonna get? Like I just generally enjoy doing new things with my edits and like learning new tricks and editing in different ways like so yeah i think it's just a collective of things like you just have to enjoy editing you have to think creatively when you're recording the videos you have to think about the logistics and the logistical outcomes from like doing certain things with your channel just so many things hold on let me check my let me check the business that pays me with that being said, I said all that to say that I decided I'm not going to do Vlogmas because it just doesn't make sense for my channel right now. Maybe in the future I'll consider it, but I don't think like, I feel like that era is dead and gone. Instead of, that's what I was going to say. Oh my gosh. I decided that it doesn't make sense for me to do Vlogmas, so I'm not going to do it this year. What I am going to do though is shortness. <laughs> I'm going to do shortness. <laughs> we got to the point, guys. Basically, I'm going to post shorts every day up until christmas and i'm already preparing for that can you imagine that i'm already preparing for shortness but like vlogmas <sighs> vlogmas i probably would have had to start preparing like two months ago <laughs> to be honest 
not even joking like like until you sit down and reflect on how long it takes to edit you really don't realize how long editing takes like, usually when i'm editing it's because i have nothing else to do so i'm just like editing i'm not like allocating time towards editing so like to do that every day to just to put like four hours into editing every day it just sounds like a lot and then thumbnails vlogmas is to vlog all the way up to christmas so i'm gonna guarantee that i'm gonna post shorts every day up until christmas i'm gonna try very hard to do that and i'm going to try to go for the rest of december and i feel like that is a more realistic and reasonable task to take on because shorts are fairly easy to do everything is content when it comes to shorts everything is content you can make anything to content baby anyways that's all i had to say for now I think of anything else to add, I will definitely Hello guys, it's the next day. I'm gonna head out. I need to go make um, an Amazon return of the tripod that I got yesterday because it's not gonna work out. And also, I'm gonna go to Starbucks one more time because I'm just craving it, okay? I'm just craving it. Um, I'm just taking out the trash right now so I can take it with me. In case you were wondering. I baked a frozen pizza yesterday, and I don't understand how y'all eat frozen pizzas. If you eat frozen pizzas, I don't understand how, because it was not good at all, actually. It was this. I feel like it tasted very doughy and undercooked. <laughs> so maybe it was my baking skills. But I baked it for more than the time it said to bake it for, and it was still tasting very doughy. It's just not good. I miss the days when I had ballet trash pickup. Cause this is ghetto. Taking the trash to the trash itself is ghetto. And I'm actually very surprised this apartment doesn't have a trash pickup service. Like I'm surprised they don't have ballet trash. For how much they're charging and where they're located, I would think that they would have ballet trash. But I guess Ohio's not hip. Also, do you guys know Costco sells goat meat now? Do you guys know that? So crazy. Sometimes I wish I had a dog. <laughs> if you know me, you know why that's funny. But I really do. Ever since I went to Minnesota and spent time with like living with a dog, Janae's dog, I wish I had a dog. Like, I feel like you know, I think my biggest fear with a dog is really the unknown of how painful their bite is or like what the circumstance, um, what their, hold on, let me turn you guys around. Actually, give me a second. Let me wash my hands. Here's the goat. Look how big it is. Isn't that ginormous? That's a lot of goat. And that was like $60 right there. I feel like my biggest fear with a dog is just when they rough play and like they're like nibbling and biting at you. That's what I'm like, um, I feel like that's when they would get me. They would run the house that way because I don't want to be rough playing with nobody. If I could overcome that fear and just like experience what it feels like for a dog to rough play you, I would be fine. Like I could live with a dog. Should I get a dog? What do you guys think? Hmm. It's like, nah, that dog would run my house. Okay, well you are an African auntie. So we got perfume, so we're gonna unbox it. Who's we? Me and you. Me and you. No. Yeah. <laughs> this is the perfume. Apparently, somebody on Big Brother told her to buy it. So I'm she bought scared it. to smell this. Oh no. What do you need this one for? It smells like a grandma. <laughs> Amazing grace. <laughs> I should have ticked it off. It's not bad. <laughs> this reminds me of walking into one more. Like really? behind like an old person. Oh lord. <laughs> oh lord. Oh lord. Oh no. That is it's giving not bad. No, it's giving powder. Like it it's does, giving it powder. Is. Damn. Yeah, return that. <laughs> return that. Take that back where you got it. <laughs> don't get that. It don't smell good. It's not bad. It's not bad. What else did they give you? It's it has um it's not bad, actually. I like it. It's from the same brand? I feel like you have to layer that with something else. 
It's no, it's so powdery. Like it's literally straight powder. What's this? I like Dang, it. they give you all, every product. <laughs> What's this? Shower gel. They got it all. <laughs> they got it all. Just let me see her outfits. <laughs> the <crazy>. lotion. <laughs> oh wow, they gave her a little detox to nourish, to clean her skin. That was so anticlimactic. I thought it was gonna be some good perfume. It wasn't, so I'm gonna go. Guys, run and go get you this. Run and go get you one of these, okay? Run. Don't walk. <laughs> run. I actually think it's this way. Go get you this book right here, like, oh my gosh. I'm only on page 96. I've been, I started reading it last night and I just picked it up. Oh my gosh. So I have this really, really bad habit with books where I um, read ahead. Does anyone else do this? Like, I will like just skim, you know, to because I just, the anticipation is just too much. So I literally will skim ahead to see if like what I'm thinking is true <laughs> this book is so good this book is so good and the second book just came yesterday let me show you guys so the second book came in yesterday look how fire this book is by the way it came in yesterday because you know it just got released so I was like, oh my god, I have to get to reading this book. Because <gasps> I finally have the second book. But y'all, I am so sick because it's so good. It's so good. And there's three more books. You're going to have to wait years for those to come out. <laughs> but this is so good. When I say I have not, there is not a moment of... You know how most books, you just have to like read through the, um, the very boring part of the plot setting and then it like picks up at a certain point not this book not this book it's been going crazy since page two like it's been action action after action after after action it's worth all the hype like it's so worth the hype i am officially a stan i am a stan go get you this book right here because it is so good already like it's so good and i'm only on page 96 i haven't even made it to 100 pages and it's already so good so good and i already don't want to finish it i also read like the first two pages of this book when i got it of the second book when i got it bad idea terrible idea because it definitely spelled spoiled a lot for me but i like to know what's gonna happen especially when i'm anticipating it i just want to know confirm and then i can read in peace because then i'll be trying to like rush to read but then i can't focus on reading because like i'm just like oh my god i just want to know what happened so i just have to do it so that i can read properly or else i'll just be skimming until i <laughs> get my answer I just had to get on here and tell y'all like I'm literally mid-sentence I'm like I gotta go tell them and it's so crazy how some authors are just that good some authors can just write girl when I say I am in this book like I am in this book I'm in her classes with her I was walking across that bridge with her I am about to be fighting dragons with her like I am in this book I'm living in this book <laughs> I'm in this world Anyways, I'm gonna get back to reading because I'm probably gonna finish this in the next day or two because, oh my gosh, is it good? Wow. Good morning. I think I'm gonna try and wear the ponytail down today because I've been wearing it in a bun. I'm getting tired of the bun. And so I'm gonna try the ponytail and see if I like the ponytail. But also, let's talk about how the front of my hair is like literally receding. Like my hairline is about her. It's like about half an inch. And these are not edges. She braided up my edges. It's new growth though. But anyways, I'm about to head out. I've been leaving the house a lot this week. Like I feel like I've left the house every day this week. That's crazy. Kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. I realize I only have one pair of sweatpants. So I've been wearing it this over and over. But this is my outfit of the day. We're going all black. All black. I love this. This right here. Go get you one of these <laughs> it's so useful like it's so easy to just throw on you don't have to hold it you don't have to like worry about it it's it's like barely there it fits so much it even fits my camera when it's not on the tripod i have my wallet you know like, what's in my purse y'all remember those videos back in the day i have my purse i have some lotion i have an extra battery 
Um, I have a couple like lip glosses. I have my Fenty lip oil, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. My Carmax and some perfumes just for on the go. And some hair ties, hand sanitizer, everything. Everything in here. And my AirPods slash keys. And then back here, I think I have some like floss and stuff in here. Yeah, I got some floss, some extra SD cards. And that's just in there like randomly i even forgot i had this and contact lenses because you always gotta come prepared if i don't have glasses on or contact i'm basically blind so always gotta stay prepared anyways i'm probably gonna see you guys in kroger i'm gonna take you guys into kroger ah, the project is in the project is in i have to get on here i have to get on here ah, they won we won <laughs> They're reading the verdict right now. Uh, I'm literally driving, but I had to catch this yes. moment on camera because this is so good. Like, this is so good. They're giving her all the money. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is so important. This is like a pivotal, pivotal verdict for all parents to come in the future. All parents that take their kids to the hospital. This is such a pivotal moment. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. I love this 10 out of 10. Guys, I'm literally gonna sit here and watch it. This is so good. This is such a big deal. Like, we're, they won. The verdict has been reached. Look at this. They are. Bro, if you're not tuned in, go tune in. Go catch up. Justice for Maya and for all parents in the future who take their kids yes. to the hospital. They don't have to fear somebody deciding to take their kids just because they feel some type of way about the mother. Like, that's so crazy. This is such a big deal. This verdict is honestly, I'm so passionate about it because it's such a big deal. To think, like, it's common. It's common for people to take their kids to the hospital and just, like, fear what could happen based on their symptoms. Like, when it's so clear that her mom was literally trying to do her best for her hurting child. I mean, how else do you expect a parent to react when their child is literally screaming and shouting? They can barely, they stop walking. Like, I'm sure any parent will do whatever they can to fix that. Anything that they can. Let me fix. Okay, that's better. They said the jury came in there all dressed up. <laughs> Just to the T, just to the nines. They knew they was gonna be ready today. It's currently at 125 million dollars, and they're still reading. <laughs> like everything is yes, yes, yes. Everything is yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited. I'm geeked. I am so geeked. Every single doctor, every single nurse that took that stand should be ashamed. The lawyers couldn't even say her name right. They kept calling her Mia. Maya is the easiest American name you could ever say. Maya, Maya, and they couldn't even say it right. They keep messing it up so embarrassing they don't give a fuck they don't give a fuck and they deserve i mean it's unfortunate because her mom is never going to come back like unfortunately yeah they won and she got all this money to pay her for her mom never coming back but i'm sure she would rather her mom be here than this money but this is still good this is still amazing this is still 10 out of 10 this is still what we need this is what we need this is justice for every parent that has been through this Every parent that would have gone through this, this is justice. This is justice for all of us that have watched this trial. Um, this is justice for every emotion. I literally have cried so many times. Oh my god, her brother is crying too. <laughs> Guys, this is so sad. Her brother has showed zero emotion since he's been in this trial. He has showed zero emotion. This is so sad. It took them five years to get to this point. It took them five years. <laughs> <laughs> because the fucking the hospital does not give a fuck they fought them to the T to get here like they have to go through every freaking obstacle just to get to a trial so this is oh my gosh we thank God this trial was won from the beginning I am so happy honestly I understand the emotion because it's like oh uh, to have that confirmation that like all the factors the facts of this case that the hospital was trying to deny they were accountable they were they literally had zero accountability the hospital they did not show a single ounce of accountability for anything everything they denied everything they put onto another agency every single thing they could redirect 
accountability, they redirected. They did not show a single ounce of accountability. They couldn't even get her name right. Zero ounce of accountability. And this is just confirmation. The jury is confirming to them that what the whole world already knows is has been confirming in the media. It's just so I can it's so relieving for me. It's so relieving for me to like hear the yes to all the questions. I can only imagine them. Like they must imagine me as just a bystander watching. Like I feel such a relief. Imagine what they feel. That confirmation from the jury. Like that had no outside information. They didn't see everything. They only saw what was necessary. And they still understood how bad the situation was. They're giving them all two hundred million, like period. As they should. Anyways, my SD card is running out of space. So I'm going to talk to y'all later. I'm sure I have more to say. Because this has honestly been such... Uh, I've been so invested in this case. I've watched every single day, every single second, every single hour. I've rewatched any day I've missed. So I definitely have a lot to say. So I'm going to talk to y'all later about it. Okay? Bye. I'm talking crazy. I need to run in my space. But I need it, baby. I'm late. But I'm still checking with you.